it was just a stunning beginning. I don't know that I've, at least that I'm in recent memory, been a part of a 21 nothing with eight minutes to go uh, in the first quarter. I mean, it was just, you know, it, it was stunning. Yeah, um, it's hard to think about positives when you lose a game, right? But yeah, but it's what it's what we try to do. We try to think about the things that we did well, and um, as well as the things that we didn't do well. But I, you know, it was an odd game in that regard because the first seven minutes, as you said, um, it, everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and we're down twenty-one nothing, and against a really good team, and so. Man, that's that's a that's a tough road to hoe, and and yet we gave ourselves um, a chance to win the game um, in the fourth quarter. So I was proud of our team for that. Um, proud of the way we fought back and fought through adversity. You know the things that have kept us from winning games, which is really red zone scoring. We were four for four in, and so that was positive. I think this is the first game that we've had that I can recall anyway recently that. We were in the negative category in takeaways and turnovers, so that that wasn't good. And and yet, man, the the, the first one, you know, the interception. Um, look, it's a ricochet off the hands of a receiver that that you you know you expect, uh, and he would expect to catch, and it goes right into the hands of um, of their DB, and and so they're in our territory right away. So that that was disappointing. Listen, you have to overcome that, and and uh, I thought that we did a really good job from the second quarter on of both defensively and offensively of getting back in the game. Look, it was from that point on, it was 28, 12 in our favor. And so that's a good sign uh, against a good football team. But at the end of the day, it's a loss. So I'm going to make a statement. You don't have to answer, uh, respond to it because I'm going to answer the, the statement because I get asked this all the time. The media is talking about it all the time. And that has, you know, the generic has this team quit on the coach. And to me, if it's 21 nothing and your team has quit on that coach, the end of that game is 56-3. Uh, if your team has quit on a coach, you've not averaged six points giving up in the second half of the last five games. You, you don't quit temporarily. You either quit or you don't quit. So to me, it's kind of a pointless question because 21 nothing is the perfect opportunity to quit. They ain't quit. They ain't hung as tough as they've ever hung. And again, you don't even have to respond because I've answered the question, I feel like, but it is out there. Yeah, well, that's just unsophisticated and lazy um, journalism, to right. be honest with you. Right. Um, that's, 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 someone, that's someone that either didn't watch the game or doesn't understand the game and probably a lot of both. Um, yeah. And so here we are, five games left. Five and seven, you've actually, you know, at this point last year were four and eight and fell to four and nine. And then so it was a, a strong finish uh, by your team. And there's there's not, at this point, you just do what, what's in front of you. You take what you have. You work with what you have. You you get better with what you didn't do the f previous week. And you fight through the injuries and see what happens with Derek Carr. I mean, it kind of is what it is at this point. Yeah, look, there's still there's still lots to play for. Um, we we've got all of our goals and dreams are are still available to reach, and so, you know, I think I think uh, Dennis said this after the game is that we have to just keep chopping, you know, keep uh, keep fighting because there's good things that can happen. Um, we've seen flashes of it. Um, and we just need more of it. That's that's the honest truth. And and uh, I believe we can do that. I do with all my heart. And Alave, to me, the impressive part is because they were going to be targeting on Alave because you felt like he was going to be the guy that the Saints would go to. Uh, yet he still has a huge game. And then with Graham, you know, just from a fan standpoint, people would want to know he's he's got he's played three plays and he's got two touchdowns. You know, is it? Should there be? Yeah, more? it sounds like we need to play more plays. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just a fan, so uh, yeah, just I'm doing the math. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um, yeah, look, I think, look, we're we're a team that has a lot of options relative to offense and guys we can get the ball to, you know, particularly when we're healthy, um, you know, because Alvin Kamara and Taysom Hill and Chris Olave and and um, Juwan Johnson, we I mean, we've got guys Rashid. So we, we've got guys on our team that can make plays. You know, it's interesting because, look, when you're 
playing a team and you're developing your plan on how you're going to defend a team, you're trying to take away the, the you know, the things that they like to do best. And, and, you know, we were able to, for the most part, take away uh, one of their wide receivers, Amon St. Brown. And yet, man, Sam Laporta stepped up and had nine catches and we didn't have an answer for him. So I think that, the, uh, you know, when teams play us, it's it's the same situation. Yes, you might be able to take away one uh, of our better options, and yet we have a number of options. The Lions were in town. We've seen a lot of teams that travel well. Pittsburgh travels well. Lions traveled well and had very, very good seats. What I think was atypical for me to see with the number of fans from the other team was where they sat, which was lower bowl behind their other team's bench, which means they pretty much had their choice of, of, of where they wanted to sit. It was just, it was, you know, the Saints were able to shut them down in the second half from a, from a fan standpoint, but it was just kind of an, an atypical situation for me. Yeah, I would say this. Um, look, we're used to having a large number of Saints fans at some of our um, opponent, uh, you know, away games. Um, we're not used to having that volume of visiting fans at our games. And so I would say, look, we, you know, our stadium sold out on a season basis. That's disappointing to have, you know, that many tickets that are resold and, and, um, you know, given to visiting uh, fans. But look, I understand it. I mean, I understand the economics of it. I understand that, you know, season tickets are expensive and you, know, you can't go to every game. And so, you know, pick and choose to sell some, but I, I was a little caught off guard by the volume, as you said, in the lower bowl, that was unusual. And look, I understand it, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. Right. And it's kind of like, you know, the, or the early booing, I, you know, I understand it. Look, one of the things that we have here is a very, very passionate fan base. I appreciate that. You know, our fans care. They want to win. We've set a high standard for that. And when we don't win, it, it can become emotional. Uh, look, our team's fighting. They're fighting to uh, and giving everything they can to win a game. Every player is. And the booing doesn't help us. It certainly doesn't help us. And I know as a fan – Myself of, of teams, I understand that, yeah, I can be angry and, and boo, but I'm not helping my team doing that. And so, um, look, it is what it is. But, again, fans have the right to do that. They have the right to express themselves. They're paying lots of money uh, to come watch our team, and they, they can certainly boo, but uh, I don't have to like it. Yeah, we'll be ready. And finally, the Saints, Atlanta, and Tampa all each have – Five games left, three division games. Your Two of your three are home. Two of their three both are on the road. I mean, it is what it is. It, this You work for what you what is attainable until somebody tells you it's no longer attainable. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, lots of things can happen. Lots of good things can happen going forward. And so uh, we'll be ready for that. And, and I, look, I – I'm positive about our team. There's a lot of things I'm positive about. The only thing I'm not positive about is a record. <laughs> yeah, um, but it is what it is. And so we've earned it and we've got to, and only we can change it. 